In today's video, we're going to talk about database monitoring tools and what they have to offer. So I had uh, someone reach out to me recently. They were doing a study and they were trying to figure out what are some of the advantages of using a vendor tool versus some of the native tools that SQL Server provides. So this is a list that I came up with. So first, what we have here is centralized real-time monitoring. So what the tools really allow you to do is pull in detailed metrics for whatever servers you have registered into one environment. And it's near real time versus when you're using the native tools of SQL Server, you typically need to connect to each server one at a time and get those metrics out. And it doesn't really give a very efficient way for you to navigate through all of them. Next here, I've got customizable alerts. So a lot of the tools will allow you to, they, they come with pre-canned alerts. Uh, and, and quite a few of them, but there may be cases where you're looking for something very specific, such as, you know, maybe something in your application, you're trying to figure out like maybe some sort of delay in an order processing or something like that. Something that's very specific to your environment. And you could go and register a query that would, can, that basically accomplishes that, that alert and plug it right into the tool. So it's, it's a very nice way to uh, extend the tools and extend your monitoring capabilities. Next I have here is historical performance data. Again, this is something that these tools just make much more easy. So you come into the tool, whatever, uh, and a lot of the tools allow you to determine whatever retention you want, and they've got a repository. And depending on what you've got configured, you'll, you'll be able to see a certain amount of history, which is very valuable. A lot of times when you're doing performance analysis, someone will come in and complain about something that happened two, three, four days ago, and you may not have the information available to you, or at least not easily. And these tools are recording it and keeping it in the tool, depending on what your retention is. And you can go in and drill down into whatever period that they want, provided you've got you know, the retention set for uh, enough for whatever the, the problem that they're bringing to you has. Next, we have query performance analysis. So a lot of times the tools will just show you, hey, these are the, the heaviest queries on the, on the system. You can look at the related SQL. A lot of times they'll have the, the, the uh, query plan available. And some tools will even have recommended uh, either changes in the code or indexes that you can apply that will make those queries run more efficiently. Next, we've got detailed metrics. There's all kinds of metrics that are available in the tools. It's collecting them, as I said, historically, and you can look at them over time and do analysis. And then you've got a very friendly user interface. You know, a lot of the native SQL Server tools are a little bit clunky to, to work with. You know, you can go in and pull server level performance reports uh, within SSMS, you know, and I've done videos on those before, and they're very useful, but it's not something that you can do very navigate very efficiently. You know, you've got to go in, generate the report, look at it, and you've got to do it for every server that you want to do analysis on versus these tools have it all built in and right in the interface and ready to go. Also, they provide query plan analysis. As I said, a lot of times it'll go in and it'll, it'll give you actual recommendations of what you can do to try and make queries run more efficiently. Also, you've got baseline performance. So a lot of the tools will tell you uh, when there's something like uh, called anal uh, anomaly tracking. So it'll track your system and what its normal response times are and tell you when you've got some sort of anomaly going on and things are not running as, as uh, efficiently as they normally do. And then, as I said, they'll give you tuning recommendations. A lot of times there'll be indexes that are recommended and they'll give you some statistics to kind of back it up and say, oh, well, I saw this query running a hundred times and each time it took, you know, X number of logical IOs in order to accomplish the query. And if you happen to apply this index, I think it can run this percent faster. So very useful information when you're trying to do tuning. Next up here, we've got support for multiple platforms. So of course, SQL Server is only going to support SQL Server, but you might have an Oracle database, MySQL database, Postgres database, all of these in your environment. 
And these tools allow you to plug everything into one common platform to do your monitoring and have everything available on one dashboard. And then we've got user defined metrics. So in addition to the detailed metrics that are supported, you can define your own metrics. And these metrics are the basis for the customizable alerts. Next, I want to just touch on some of the tools that I've used in the past. So a long time ago, I wrote something myself. You know, we were evaluating a lot of the tools. And this was, you know, about 20 years ago, maybe even longer. And, you know, we looked at some of the tools that are on the market. Uh, I was working at uh, a large bank, and so they had a pretty large footprint of servers that needed to be monitored. So, and usually how these tools are uh, priced out is that they'll charge you for each server that's using the monitoring. And so at the time, the tools were pretty primitive. It doesn't offer a lot of the functionality that I just went over. And we just needed some basic things. We wanted to know, hey, is the database up? Uh, do we need space allocated for any of our table spaces? Do we have any uh, CPU problems? Do we have any blocking locks? So, you know, these just these basic monitoring things. And so I wrote this Oramon tool and rolled it out across the bank. And I, I actually was able to plug into a custom alert system that they had written. They had Perl modules for it. And so I was able to send alerts off into the this global alarm system. They called it GAS. And so it worked out really well, you know, and I used that for quite a while. In fact, I still use it today for some of the systems that, that I've got that maybe we don't have the capabilities of going out and buying a tool. Uh, and so I plug Oramon in and it does all these things for me. So keep people good eye on what's going on in the environment. But as I said, those, all, those, all that functionality that I went over on the previous slide uh, is really starting to add up. And I'm, you know, I'm very... Uh, keen on using some of these tools now. And some of the tools that I've used over the last five or six years include Quest Spotlight, SolarWinds DPA, just recently started using Datadog, and then for Oracle, Oracle Enterprise Manager Grid Control. I have a screenshot here. This is the, the SolarWinds DPA tool. And I just want to give you guys an idea of, you know, what sort of information is available. So this is like the first screen when you come into SolarWinds DPA, and as you can see here, these are all your individual servers that you have plugged into the environment. So you've got kind of a bird's eye view, and it's telling you, you know, if you've got any issues here in terms of weight, so everything's all green in this particular example. And here, this column tells you, hey, you've got some tuning suggestions that are coming from the tool, and you could drill down into here and see what those tuning recommendations are. And then you've got general resources, so you've got your CPU, memory disk and it's trying to tell you if you've got any potential issues for any of these and then you've got some information over here that's very useful telling you hey what ver you know what database is being monitored what type what version it's on uh, whether it's like rds or it's a it's a normal uh, instance uh, a normal instance running on a vm and you, as you can see here we've got postgres we've got sql server and we've got Oracle all plugged in. So this is like everything in your environment that you can you can have on one particular screen. And then you can drill down. So then on the next, the next slide, I'm gonna show you a, a drill down version of when you drill into one of these servers. So here we've drilled down into one particular server. And this is actually focused on a particular uh, day. So we've got Friday, April 15th, that was uh, the, the selected date, but you're, there's actually a higher level to this where you can look at, depending on how much retention you have configured, you can look at 30, 60, 90, whatever you have configured days of history, and it'll show you kind of all the trends of your server. So in this case, we're looking at a day view. And so these individual bars are each hour of the day. So you got 24 individual bars. And then you've got this is what's identifying as the primary primary uh, SQL statements, the heaviest SQL statements in terms of wait time that were running during those periods. And see, these are color coded. So as you see, these when these colors are the same across uh, bars, they actually mean, hey, that's the same statement that was running. 
And over on the right here, you've got those statements and you could actually drill down on these individual, these are the statement IDs. You could drill down on those, you could look at the actual SQL. So here's a case where you've got the actual SQL that was running and you can name them. So, and that's key when, you know, these numbers mean nothing, but if you actually give them names and then you see that, oh, well, this particular store procedure or view was being, was hitting the server pretty hard over the entire day, the entire week, the entire month, it kind of tells you where to focus your efforts. And so down here, this is what I was talking about with respect to the anomaly detection. So what this is telling you is this versus normal time, you know, you're, you're operating, you know, above or below your, your baseline thresholds. But when you see these color coded reds and amber colors here, that means, hey, things were uh, not operating as efficiently as normal. And you probably want to look into that particular time period and see if you can do anything to make things more efficient. And there's a lot of other information here. You can go into, you know, the plans. Uh, there are, there's other screens that show you like blocking locks that we're running uh, and actually give you the complete blocking tree. So that's very useful information when you're coming in after the fact. And then up here, you've got some other information for, you can look at the current view so that I'll show you if you've got anything going on exactly right now that you need to look into. And then you've got like resources. So that's a very high level view of what's available in these tools. I'll do it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Of course, put your questions and comments below and share the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.